Unit 5, Lesson 12. Dividing decimals by whole numbers. Number 1. Here is a diagram representing a base 10 number. The large rectangle represents a unit that is 10 times the value of the square. The square represents a unit that is 10 times the value of the small rectangles. Here is a diagram showing the number being divided into 5 equal groups. A. If a large rectangle represents 1,000, what division problem did the second diagram show? What is the answer? There's one large rectangle that represents 1,000, there's three squares that represent 300, and there's two small rectangles that represent 20. The division problem would be 1,320 divided by 5. If the large rectangle represents 1,000, then the squares would represent 100. The small rectangles would represent 10, and the tiny squares would represent 1. 200 plus 60 plus 4 is 264. 1,320 divided by 5 equals 264. B. If a large rectangle represents 100, what division problem did the second diagram show? What was its answer? If the large rectangle represents 100, then the square represents 10, the small rectangle represents 1. So let's add them up. We have 100 plus 30 plus 2. So this diagram is worth 132. And the division problem would be 132 divided by 5. The answer to this division problem would be 10 times smaller than the answer to the division problem in section A, because 132 is 10 times smaller than 1,320. 132 divided by 5 equals 26 and 4 tenths. C. If a large rectangle represents 10, what division problem did the second diagram show? What is its answer? If the large rectangle is worth 10, then the square would be worth 1. The small rectangle would be worth 1 tenth. 13 and 2 tenths divided by 5 equals 2 and 64 hundredths. C's answer will be 10 times smaller than B's answer, and B's answer will be 10 times smaller than A's answer. Number 2a. Explain why all of these expressions have the same value. They are all the same value because each expression's dividend and divisor are both 10 times smaller than the previous expression's dividend and divisor. b. What is the common value? The common value is 50. The answer to each of these expressions is 50. 4,500 divided by 9 is 50. 450 divided by 9 tenths is 50, and 45 divided by 9 hundredths is also 50. Number 3. Use long division to find each quotient. A. 7 and 89 hundredths divided by 2. 7 and 89 hundredths divided by 2 equals 3 and 945 thousandths because 2 goes into 7 3 times, so I put the 3 in the 1's place above the 7. 3 times 2 is 6, and the difference is 1. I make sure I put my decimal point in. I bring down the 8. How many times does 2 go into 18? It goes in 9 times, so I put the 9 above the 8 in the tenths place. 9 times 2 is 18, and the difference is 0. I bring down the 9 from the hundredths place, and I ask, how many times does 2 go into 9? It goes in 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8, and the difference is 1. I bring down a 0 in the thousandths place, and I ask how many times does 2 go into 10? It goes in 5 times. 5 times 2 is 10, and the difference is 0. B. 39 and 54 hundredths divided by 3. 3 goes into 3 once, so I put the 1 in the tenths place right above the 3. 1 times 3 is 3, and the difference is 0. I bring down the 9 in the 1's column, and I ask how many times does 3 go into 9? It goes in 3 times, so I put the 3 
in the ones column above the 9. 3 times 3 is 9, and the difference is 0. And I make sure I put my decimal point, and I bring down the 5 in the tenths place. How many times does 3 go into 5? It goes in once. I put the 1 in the tenths place. 1 times 3 is 3, and the difference is 2. I bring down the 4 in the hundredths place, and I say how many times does 3 go into 24? It goes in 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24, and the difference is 0. So 39 and 54 hundredths divided by 3 is 13 and 18 hundredths. C. 176 thousandths divided by 5. I put a 0 in the ones place on the top. I put my decimal and I ask myself how many times does 5 go into 1 and it goes in 0 times. So I put a 0 in the tenths place. Now I ask myself how many times does 5 go into 17. It goes in three times, so I put a three above the seven in the hundredth place. Three times five is 15, and the difference is two. I bring down the six in the thousandths place, and I ask how many times does five go into 26? It goes in five times. So I put the five above the six in the thousandths place. Five times five is 25, and the difference is one. I bring down a zero in the 10 thousandths place, and I ask how many times does five go into 10? It goes in twice. So I put a 2 above that 0 in the 10 thousandths place. 2 times 5 is 10, and the difference is 0. So the answer to the division problem, 176 thousandths divided by 5, is 352 ten thousandths. Number 4. Four students set up a lemonade stand. At the end of the day, their profit is $17.52. How much money do they each have when the profit is split equally? Show or explain your reasoning. The profit was $17.52, and that's divided by the four people. How many times does four go into 17? It goes in four times. So above the seven in the ones place, we put a four. Four times four is 16, and the difference is one. We make sure that we put the decimal in and bring down the five in the tenths place. How many times does four go into 15? It goes in three times. 3 times 4 is 12, and the difference is 3. Bring down the 2 in the hundredths place and ask how many times does 4 go into 32? It goes in 8 times. 8 times 4 is 32, and the difference is 0. Each person's share of the profit was $4.38. Number 5. A. A standard sheet of paper in the United States is 11 inches long and 8 and 5 tenths inches wide. Each inch is 2 and 54 hundredths centimeters. How long and wide is a standard sheet of paper in centimeters? 2 and 54 hundredths centimeters times 11 inches equals 27 and 94 hundredths centimeters long and 2 and 54 hundredths centimeters times 8 and 5 tenths inches equals 21 and 59 hundredths centimeters wide. B. A standard sheet of paper in Europe is 21 centimeters wide and 29 and 7 tenths centimeters long. Which has the greater area, the standard sheet of paper in the United States or the standard sheet of paper in Europe? The area would be the length times the width. So in the United States, the total would be 603 and 2246 ten thousandths centimeters squared. And in Europe, the area would be 623 and 7 tenths centimeters squared. So the European standard sheet of paper has more area than the American standard sheet of paper. Congratulations! You have completed Unit 5, Lesson 12, Dividing Decimals by Whole Numbers. Music